Coach Copeland, the 2013 season about to get underway. Tell me a little bit about your expectations for the year for the Fairfield Stags. Yeah, sure. We, uh, you know, we've gotten close the last couple of years. Uh, you know, finishing second in the ECAC conference championship. I mean, obviously, our, our our first goal is to get back to that position, and our, our our second and ultimate goal is to try to win the ECAC and get to the NCAA tournament and try to make some noise. Uh, you know, in the tournament. So, we uh, we've taken this thing day by day. I'm 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 proud of where we're at right now as a program. Uh, we got our hands full, continuing to make sure that this thing moves in a good direction. But I feel like we got some pieces in place. You have two players that got preseason All-American honor, honorable mention, Sam Snow and Michael Rowe. Just talk a little bit about them, what they bring to this program. Yeah, sure. Sam, uh, you know, in, in, in some regards has been our best player amongst our best players ever since his freshman year. He's a four-year starter. He's, uh, he's played a little bit of attack, a little bit of midfield. I expect him to play both this year. Um, and, and Sam, he's terrific as a, as a captain, as a leader. Uh, ultimately, as the face of this program, he just does all the right things, says all the right things, and and, and leads the right way. So, uh, you know, it's it's a daunting task for your best player to to ultimately be tasked with leading the team the appropriate way. But uh, but I think Sam has managed that role very well, and we expect him to have another stellar year. And then in Michael's case, we were thrilled to pick up Michael last year. He was uh you know as a freshman was a faceoff guy for Drexel. Transferred into Fairfield, made an immediate impact as we, you know, we boosted our faceoff percentage, 15 or 20 percentage points, um, you know, and 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 the, the the thing with Michael moving into this year is we got to make sure that he he stays healthy and we can keep him healthy throughout. So we gotta we gotta manage his health appropriately. But uh, but in terms of just a guy who is a technician and and really passionate about his craft, he's uh, he's as good as they get at the at the faceoff back. So we expect big things from him again this year. And then there's a complement of other guys, guys like Tristan Sperry, Colin McClendon, Nick Guida, Jordan Greenfield, you know, a freshman T.J. Newbauer. And then you know we picked up another defensive transfer, a young man named Toby Armour, who I think's made a pretty positive impact. And uh, you know I think those are some of the names that you'll be hearing on a pretty consistent basis this spring. Defense has been a strength for this program under your tutelage. Uh, a lot of changes back there. New defensive coordinator, a lot of new faces. Talk a little bit about the transition your defense is making from 2012 to this season. Yeah, sure. I mean, you you, you lose a, a fella in cage, Charlie Cipriano, who was a three-year starter. You lose two defensemen in Brendan McTague and Drew Palmer, and then you lose your defensive coordinator, Kevin Connery, down to the University of Maryland. So, uh, you know, we, we, we definitely uh, kind of have our antenna up to just making sure that we can make a pretty seamless transition there. Um, Colin Hume has done a terrific job since his arrival on board. And then systematically, I'm not sure that we're really changing too much. Uh, I, I do think that we have some depth down there. Guys like Toby Armour, who I mentioned, Tom Lukovic, Greg Perot, who's probably going to be a three-year starter, Dan Niebler, Matt Rubitone, two seniors, Gordy Wells in the long stick position, a guy like Gary Davies, Max Buchanan. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of names that we would feel comfortable kind of interchanging at, uh, at, at various times. So I feel like we have as much depth as we've had at the defensive end of the field. It's just a matter of us kind of getting the chemistry to where it needs to be and, uh, and just making sure that we're giving our goalies a chance. I think we'd be remiss not to talk about your other senior captain, Marshall Johnson. Just how important is he to the team across the board, leadership-wise and on the field? Yeah, I think Marshall's just your consummate teammate. I mean, he, he, he came in, and we experimented with him on the offensive side of the ball. And I think, uh, to Marshall's credit, he did whatever it was that the coaching staff asked him to do. Here he is as a senior, and his, his role isn't quite as glamorous as maybe he would like it to be. He's a, he's a defensive midfielder, a wing of faceoff guy. Sometimes we'll see him at the X transitional midfielder, but he uh, he has embraced that change and he's terrific at it. So we, uh, you know, I, I feel like Marshall is going to be a staple of our, uh, you know, of our team here this spring. Great coach. Sam, you're voted team captain this year. Tell us what it means to you and how you lead this program going into the year. I think it's a total honor. I think if you look at the captains in the past, the guys are just absolutely phenomenal people, even outside the lacrosse world, what they've done with their career and, you know, the kind of just the personality that they have. I think just personally, the kind of captain that I am, I'm the kind of the guy that's going to, you know, be kind of short with my words, kind of say the right thing when I need to, and just really work hard in the field and be an example for everyone to follow. You guys have been on the cusp of making the NCAA tournament the last couple of years. What are your goals for this team to accomplish in 2013? Um, I think when I came here as a freshman, I really didn't know much about college lacrosse. And then after that first season, we kind of got so close to making the tournament. I really got a taste of the fire, and I, and I wanted it. And so this whole time, I've always really wanted to make the tournament. I don't really kind of care too much how. I'd love to win the ECAC championship, but you know this is obviously the last chance I'll have. And I think that really would mean a lot to me, and especially the other seniors, to make the, EC or make the NCAA tournament.
Now, as a senior, what are some of your personal goals for you for this coming season? What do you want to do with Sam Snow? I want to be a great leader for this team. I think that, you know, they voted for me for a reason, and I don't want to let them down. I think that just looking back on last season, maybe a little more assists, <laughs> a couple more ground balls and stuff like that. But I think if I can, you know, be the face of this program and really work hard every day and practice and prove my teammates that I deserve to be their captain, and then they'll follow my lead, and hopefully everything will work from there. You've been here for pretty much the, the last – four years of Coach Culp and his entire time here. Where has this program come from the day you were recruited to where it is now? Oh, it's taken such a good turn for the right direction. I think that this season is especially important because I think that we've kind of put Fairfield, you know, it's established a name for it a little bit and people are starting to recognize it. And then we can't let that fizzle out. If we have another good solid season this year and make the NCAA tournament, then people will, you know, think, you know, top 15 team Fairfield no matter what without even, you know, knowing the personnel on the field. It's just kind of a thing that we'd like to establish here.